Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in today's video I introduce you a brand new tutorial called PHP Chat and um, this chat application will be built using several technologies um, in the name of Ratchet which is a PHP um, server and we'll be using some technologies which are Ratchet, a real-time server for PHP which makes it easy to implement push notifications from server to clients hence um, that's what we'll be using for the real-time um, notifications Okay. And um, we're going to be using also some front-end technologies like jQuery, Bootstrap, and jQuery Cookie. So I'll show you um, the websites for those three front-end technologies. So jQuery is just regular jQuery you've been using. So go ahead and uh, download jQuery and then um, just put that inside your JS folder. So I'll just do an ls in our main folder here. And um, let's just actually open that up in our text editor as you can see here i have jquery.js um, so i have downloaded that locally and the next technology we'll be using is another jquery plugin called jquery cookie um, and this is the url for it and i'll just go ahead and download that as well using this link here and i've already done that so i have it in my js folder jquery.cookie.js and finally we're gonna have a main.js file which is going to be empty and that's where um, all of our code is going to live. That's the custom J JavaScript code that we're going to write. Okay. And finally, go ahead and download Bootstrap as well. So Twitter Bootstrap, go ahead and download it and link to the, um, the CSS file, which I have stored inside my CSS folder here, bootstrap.css. Okay. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and install our PHP dependencies using Composer. So inside your base folder here, which I have loaded up in a virtual host inside my browser, as you can see, phpchat.dev, and these are the folders that we have here. Since we do not have an index.php, that's why it is listing out our um, server um, contents, okay? So let's go ahead and install um, the PHP Composer package that we need. And um, what we need is a uh, as I said, we'll be using a real-time server called Ratchet. So um, Ratchet lives in um, a namespace. So let's install that. So let's do Composer require. And um, the namespace it lives in is C B O D E N forward slash Ratchet. So go ahead and type that inside your main folder. So um, you don't have to create a virtual server like I did here. Um, you can just load up a quick PHP server like this. Can do php s localhost and then give it any port like 2007 okay and that should work as well so i'll just close that and um seems that the ratchet server has installed so let's go to our project now to see a composer file in there and um since we'll be using psr4 um you don't have to worry about what that means but if you want to know what that means um i have made another tutorial series on composer a full course actually on it which uh, where i've covered what psr4 is but if you don't want to be bothered about that as well uh, just go ahead here in your composer.json and add an auto load key there so just do auto load and then um just put another hash in there as well and do psr4 and then um your psr4 will also be another hash as its value and then let's add a namespace called chat app and um, backslash backslash and the default directory will be source src okay and we're doing this so that we conform to psr4 standards so let's create another file called chat.php inside of our source folder since source um, will be the default folder for all our classes our php classes let's create the folder called source and then inside there let's create another file called chat.php okay so inside of there we're gonna create a, a php class so let's just open a php tags and then um, first before we do that let's namespace it and the namespace will be chat app because in our psr4 configuration here we're saying the source um, folder we have a default namespace of chat app so any class in there must have that namespace as well just to conform to php um, psr4 okay so next let's import some classes um since we have ratchet um, let's do ratchet um it's importing the package so let's say message component interface okay so the next thing that we need to do is import um ratchet um, and um, connection interface okay Finally, let's just create our class now. So let's do class and the class name will be chat. 
and it implements um, well it's not chat app it's just chat and it implements message component interface okay and since we're making a chat application it's important that we have a property for clients so let's do protected clients and uh, 